right, so I've been waiting all day for my package to come in, and it still hasn't come in yet, and now it's about two o'clock. So I'm sick of waiting, and I'm heading down to the garage to kill time, and hopefully I can get my brother and my sister to deliver me the package, if I'm lucky. If not, I'll just drive back home. I don't care, I'm just, I hate sitting home. Neighbor Jim, two bays over, he just sent me a picture and said, someone just moved in in the unit across from me, which has been empty for about two months now. And, then he sends me a picture and it happens to be two R35 GTRs. So, needless to say, I'm pretty excited to go down to the shop and see who these guys are and what they're doing there. Yep. All right, so I show up at the shop and here it is, two R35s. And I guess uh, there's more coming, right? I guess so. Yeah, I guess he stopped by, said that he's storing cars in the spay. He dropped off these two first and this, and he's off to get two more cars. So, hopefully those are cool too. You don't see two GTRs pulling to your lot every day. Not bad guy, not bad. Like I said, I waited all day for my Hydro E-Brake kit to come in. Still hasn't come in yet, so I'm just at the garage now. Um, there's not much more prep I could do to my car to get it ready for the Hydro stuff, but once the parts come in, I need to go source two rear brake lines of soft toes for my calipers, and I need to go get brake line, and I need uh, the Wilwood adapter fitting, because Wilwood comes with a weird brake line um, fitting. So the guys with the GTRs came down and they were cool dudes. I didn't bring the camera out because I didn't want to shove the camera in their face because it's kind of disrespectful and a little weird. So um, yeah, hopefully they come by again, pull them out and I can maybe do a little walk around. That'd be really sick. But until this time, we shall wait. Thank you, Shane. This is my brother. You're welcome. Package delivered. Package delivered at five o'clock. UPS, why'd you come in so late? Beagle can Dachshund it, delivered. Can you make it clear that that's your older brother? Oh yeah, that's my older brother. <laughs> Shanus. I should have shaved for this. Booty, come here. I'm gonna do that movie guys. It will got flavor. Watch your fingers. Okay. Here it is. Lock up. Oh, packing peanuts. First piece. Look, I'm trying to see the this is the mounting kit. This mounts the hydro around the shifter on the side. Yeah, what brand is that? Villains. This is a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, first piece of my hydro. All right. Oh, there's a little bit of rust on it. It's all right. We'll clean that up. It's the long so this is shipping. This is the arm. Perfect. Nice and simple. I'm on camera duty. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. Alright, this piece is, and this looks like the base or is this the master? This is the master. Yeah, this is the master. Alright, we got that Willwood master. Ooh, let me take a look. And it's oh, really yeah. a divorce setup, so it has its own reservoir. Look at so. that. Dang. But keep this going. Why are you being David right now? I'm ruining the shot. Looks like the base. Jesus. Yep. This is really nice. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a Willwood brace. Oh, that's like the ASD one. Oh, that's cool. So the master bolts into this and that arm bolts right here in Eudra setup. So look at that. Really nice. I got Caleb's grip. Oh, there you go, dude. Shout out Caleb I'm probably going to change this. <laughs> oh. No, I'll no. take them. No, Caleb's I'll take this the Caleb like grip. This. this is cool. I'm about to run no, this. Is they only give you one? I was about to say, I'll yeah. put it on the bike. Yeah, this is Caleb's. I'll Instagram. actually use it. it they so like ripped the package in half. Right here. Shout out. Caleb, yo. Oh, What's good cool. if Here's you're watching this? Bracket. Yeah, if Kayla's watching this, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Caleb don't watch you. Nah, Caleb dude. Don't watch this. I bet you Caleb will peep this video. We'll see. He's got a Duramax, dude. And I'm over here with the broken power stroke. Alright, here's brackets. This goes underneath the rotor, probably. We should probably look that up. Yeah, definitely need uh, to look that up. And then this is uh, the brackets for the dual calipers. So, like I said, this bolts onto the hubs underneath the... No, this bolts underneath the hub, right? knuckle. So. I have a mounting point for my second caliper. There's dogs everywhere. Right. Ooh, young tuck. Oh, can't forget the fresh t-shirt in that Ziploc bag. Let's take a gander. Look at this. What's this blank tee? Is the it nice blank tee? I'm kidding. Uh, is wait, it blank? Wait. No, there it is. Hey, shout out Villains for the extra t-shirt. So there you go. Got to represent because villains is the shit. There we go. This is a long unboxing. Yeah, dude, you're at five minutes, fifteen seconds. Wow, there's a lot of stickers. Oh, oh damn! All right. Ciao, dude. Look at this, yo. Dude, that's oh! A oh! Shout out villains for the for the stickers, dude. Damn. I'm stoked. So, like I said, double represent. I'm out here. Villains, so. dude. 
quick, I'm going to spray the parts black that aren't painted just so they don't rust at all. So I got them on zip ties so I can hang them after I spray them. So there we go. Just got all the parts painted. Um, just got to wait for them to dry. They look really good now. Now they're not going to rust. So I'm stoked. So we got to run to, not you, Chow, you're not coming. So we got to run to Napa a few times over so I can get the lines I need for this. in the fucking world didn't have more than a box the size of fittings for some reason um, but it's all right so shout out to the dude that just helped me out because I made him help me for like a half hour um, I think he was off at like 6 30 it's quarter after seven <laughs> yeah so um, I'm probably gonna have to go find more fittings at another auto store because the soft lines that are for the calipers are inverted and they're meant to have bubble flares which makes no sense um, pain in the ass Getting bubble so So we have been running around from part store to part, part store to part store for like two hours now and I can't seem to piece together the right fittings I need for this caliper which is absolutely horrendous. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, there's no way I'm going to finish it tonight. I'm going to try and mock up as much as I can tonight but it's definitely not getting done. Unfortunately. Alright, even though I can't do my brake lines today, I could at least mount everything which is still a lot of work so I'm excited. So the first thing is going to be the plate that actually mounts the calipers on it. So this, I believe, is sandwiched in between the knuckle and the hub. So this should slide on just like that. And then I'm gonna bolt the hub back on with that in between. The bracket is now bolted on that holds the beetle caliper on. Now they sent this miniature spacer with the kit. So assuming they put this underneath the rotor to space out the rotor slightly so it can now clear both calipers to make up for this offset on that bracket. So I just realized I had a how-to video online, I just watched it, and this is supposed to be shaven down just a little bit because of the back of the caliper right there hits the knuckle. So I got a flapper wheel, here she is, and I'm going to grind this down a little bit so the brake will fit. Just mounted the rear caliper on the bracket, it was kind of a pain in the ass because you have to finesse the bolts in the back of the caliper, so now I'm going to try and stick the sock caliper back on and... Hopefully that goes nice and easy. To offset the rear caliper, they give us a washer to then space out the factory caliper to allow it to fit to make up for the bracket that mounts underneath it. So I just threw together the right side and everything fits perfect. Uh, it was really, really smooth, came together a lot easier than the other side. So I realized after putting this side together, um, I reached out to villains trying to figure out what was wrong. They called me and it was awesome. So shout out to those guys down there because they helped me out really quick and easy. What I, there's some binding right here with my caliper. And I think what we determined happened was I didn't shave my knuckle down enough. So the back of the caliper is actually hitting the knuckle. So when I tightened it, it cocked it and now it has my rotor just really tight. So I suck. <laughs> so now I have to take all this back apart, grab my caliper down, make sure I didn't bend anything and then put it back together. So. So after redoing this side, I realized that my brake pads are absolutely shot. The other ones I didn't mess with too much, so I didn't notice, but they are destroyed. So tomorrow, I'm just going to wait and get new brake pads so I can do it right while it's apart. So tomorrow, I'll finish with the brake pads. I'll run the lines. I got to mount the hydro and then go from there. So, so to start my day, I have to head down to Napa again to get the right fitting. I only need one more and I know what it is, so I'm happy. So after I make this trip, then I'll be good on the fittings and I could hopefully finish the Hydro today. Just got to the shop. Looks like everyone's waiting for me. Bryce here for the bumper and Orion has to fix his truck again. Tetsuri style chicken, delicious. So I threw my old pads back in, so my brakes are probably gonna sound like booty, but whatever, I'll order them online and I'll change them as soon as they come in. So I guess the next thing to tackle is to mount the Hydro itself. I'm a little nervous because it doesn't look like it's going to clear my seat, but I'm going to send it anyways and try to fit this as clean as possible. All right, well, I did a few things and I forgot to film because I was just in the zone. So this plate that goes with the villain's kit, it actually bolts the Hydro to it right here um, and it uses your stock training tunnel bolts. 
and you have to drill three new side ones. Um, so what I'm trying to do, what I've been trying to do is, once I had to tear this apart because I ran my oh, my oxygen sensor for my AFR through my training tunnel, so I had to take it apart so I can get it on it, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And to fit this, I actually had to cut my dash, but I'm trying to make this fit as clean as possible because you because I'm just very anal about my interior. So there you go. Fits clean in there. I might have to trim a little bit more, but not much, and it should bolt. So I got the fit all nice and flush, so now I'm just bolting on the cover again. And I'm leaving my training tunnel little cover on it because this does a lot of sound deadening and a lot of um, a lot of heat actually comes with me if you don't have it. So for the next step, I'm gonna have to drill through my training tunnel in three different spots so I can bolt this for extra clamping force. So I got the plate bolted down into the training tunnel. This thing is not going anywhere. This thing is so solid. So now the next step is to start putting the hydro together on the plate. So you have to bolt the plate down, then the master, then the arm. So let's do that. So master's on. Now I gotta bolt the arm up and attach it to the master. So it's now fully together for the most part. I still gotta throw the grip on, but besides that it is in there and it looks like my hydro my factory e-rig is gonna fit. Very, very tightly it's gonna fit, so that's awesome. So now the next step is trying to put most of my interior back together to see what I can fit and everything because I really want to have my center console. And then from there we're gonna see how I can fit the lines to the back. A little ahead of myself and I forgot the film because I was just doing my thing and I was able to trim my center console enough to fit my center console back in it. So it's actually sitting all flush with the hydro in. So this is all done. Now we have to move on to running the line and I have to figure out where I want to loop it to. So my plan is to run it straight back into my trunk and then run the lines inside my trunk and then go into my wheel well just to keep it so it's not exposed. I just gotta find a point at where I want to tuck the brake line. All right, so I brought the line through, so I'm gonna make my first flare and I almost forgot my nut. Don't ever do this. It just sucks when you go to flare and you flare without the nut on, so I have to go slide this nut on. I'm gonna flare this and then bend it up into the master. There we go, that's a good flare. I feel focus on it. So this needs to go into here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to loop it over the cap just enough so I can take the cap off. I hate that look, but it's just the only way you have to do it. So I'm gonna try and hand bend that right now. All right, so I just ran the line and it bent pretty nicely. Um, I really couldn't bend it much tighter or else it would probably kink. I was really tempted to go through this hole on the center console and just tuck the whole thing, but if I wanted to dick it off, which you take it off a lot to do anything, I'd be kind of screwed. So I ran it just quick underneath and then went through the back seats. Really wanted to go through the carpet also, but it was just being a pain in the ass. I'm just trying to get this done quick. But so whatever, I'll just accept the little bit showing. A lot of guys go straight into your training tunnel and then go underneath the car and split it there. I'm gonna cut it right, right about here and put my T right here and then run my lines through here and then go basically right where the soft line ends right here. So it's gonna be nice and easy. I got the fitting on and then it's gonna go into this T where it will then split off to each caliper. So to link the caliper into the trunk, some of you might think this is sketchy, but I'm very confident in it. The soft line, I actually have it sandwiched between a fitting and my trunk, and so it holds it in place nicely, gives it some room to walk, like wiggle. And my thought was this might hit this if it goes any lower, and I, I put a bunch of weight on this side, so it'd basically be like super tucking my wheel and it doesn't even come close. So very confident in that. It's not gonna rub, we'll be fine. So sweet. So, the fitting sandwiches it real nice right here so that I have access to the line so I can connect my teeth. So I'm gonna do this for the other side and then make my line. All right, so I just made up these lines real quick so I can use them to go from the T to each caliper fitting. So I'm gonna bend these up real quick and put them in the T and see how that comes out. So I just got the lines in and they're pretty good. Not perfectly symmetrical, but they still look really good. So let's go tighten them up and then bleed the system. And we're gonna check on Don real quick. But you know shit is serious when you have a fucking ax, a pipe wrench, <laughs> leverage and more leverage. 
Damn. You got it though. You got the cholera. <laughs> so I guess the time has come to fill it up with brake fluid, start to bleed it, and hope it doesn't leak. So huge shout out to Ryan because he helped me bleed this. He was working the brake while I worked the bleeders. It's a two man job and it's all set now. So hydro feels great. There was one little leak up front, but we got it. The fitting ones just wasn't too tight. So hydro feels good. I'm very excited to try it. Um, so I'm gonna throw my wheels on. And then my big worry is my seat. The Corbet, it's a widened seat for bigger boys. And <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna fit with the master. I might have to get another seat and just own S14 seat in the meantime, but we will find out. The Corbet, Corbeau, Corbeau. I, thought I, think, I think Corbeau. it's Corbeau. I also think Corbeau. Right. I think Corbeau is like a French guy saying so. it. <laughs> all right, so the Hydro's in, all bolted up, fully bled, so it works really good now. Don wanted the test fit my front wheels, so he threw his, in the, his front and my rear. It does look good on the Kuki, but those don't fit my car, so sorry, Don. <laughs> My seat doesn't fit, unfortunately. It's a fat boy seat, and it does not fit be, be in between the hydro and my cage, which really blows. Exactly. So, Drew's gonna let me borrow his Sparco, which is a lot skinnier than mine, so I could at least do the Canon event this week, and I'll be looking for skinnier seats. Um, yeah, so that's on the list of things to do. <laughs> Luckily, thank you, Drew, for letting me borrow your seat. I should put it in probably tomorrow, and I'll be able to test drive it. I was really hoping to go do some skids tonight, but I don't have a seat, and that's not really the safest thing to do. <laughs> but if I haven't mentioned it before, I used everything from Villain's kit. Um, I'll put the link in the description of their website. It's probably the cheapest way you could ever run a dual caliper setup, and it looks fucking awesome. And it, and it, I haven't street tested it yet, but it seems like it's going to work really, really good. So I'm very excited. Check them out. Why the heck not? Brian just sent me a photo. He actually finished my rear bumper today. I don't know if you can see it, and it came out absolutely amazing. It actually looks way too good, so I'm gonna have like the cleanest rear bumper ever, and then the rest of the car looks all right. <laughs> but hopefully next video I'll be able to put that on, and I'm very excited for that because it's really gonna bring the whole car together. For today, that's it. Next vlog is gonna be lit, so stay tuned. And you know the drill, Donovan. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>